E.G. Marshall. Man is a reed, said the philosopher, the weakest reed in all of nature, but he is a thinking reed. And that, of course, is the beginning and the end of the problem. Thinking, man's most useful and also most dangerous talent. For some, thinking may lead to delight. For others, it may bring on disaster. What do you do? Well, you can see what I do. What do you do? Who are you? I told you I'm a plumber. I got my truck outside. Once again, what do you do? Hey, for crying out loud, I'm telling you. A plumber. <coughs> oh, hey. No, my friend, oh. I will ask you again and again until finally you decide to tell me the truth. I told you the truth. I'm a plumber. <coughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Some people simply take longer to learn than others. <coughs> Mystery drama, Golden Time, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Sam Dan and stars Larry Haynes. I'll be back shortly with Act One. Every story must have a hero, or, of course, a heroine. And who are the heroes and heroines of popular literature and entertainment? Generally, those men and women who can generate excitement, who are adventurous or glamorous or sexy. However, our hero is going to be a plumber. A plumber, you may well exclaim. Who even thinks about plumbers? Well, just consider this. A plumber is a person you never think about until you really need him. Then you don't think about anything else. Slow down, Harvey Lee. Hey, this is pretty good, Chitter. I got a bone to pick with you. Harvey. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> I thought you were talking to the chicken. <laughs> That's a pretty good joke, huh? <laughs> no. Well, uh, it's a pretty tasty chicken. Is this a new recipe? I was talking to Jenny Lloyd this morning. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. She wanted to know when you were going to Washington, D.C. Now, well, why would I be going to Washington, D.C.? Well, to get the Medal of Honor. What Medal of Honor? That big one. The one they should have given you ten years ago when you was in Vietnam. But they somehow overlooked. Hey, what are you talking about? Jenny says her Jimmy was talking to Harvey Jr. Oh. Now, what kind of nonsense have you been telling your son this time? Oh, you'd think the kid would be able to tell her I was laying it on a little thick. He is 12 years old. He wants to believe his father was a hero. Well, that, that's why I did it to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go again. No, no really. I, I was reading this book on psychology, mm -hmm. you see. And a kid needs to build up his, uh, his, what do you call it, his, uh, his self-esteem, you see. Now, he can only do that if he has a powerful father figure to look up to. These stories are yours. Harvey, you're becoming the laughing stock of the neighborhood. Yeah, well, now, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you how it happened. Oh, never mind. Now, now, him and Jimmy Lloyd was playing up in the attic, and they found my old uniform. Mm -hmm. So, he asked me what I did in the Army. Now, could I tell him I put in a three-year hitch as a maintenance plumber in Fort Bliss, Texas? Why not? Martha, don't you have any romance in your soul? Uh, I'll get it. Hello? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, please, speak slower. I can't. What kind of emergency? Oh, the cellar's flooding? Tell him to turn off the valve from the main. Turn off the valve from the... Oh, please, listen. Harvey, this woman's too excited. I can't understand a word. Where would that valve be? In the basement. In the basement. Now, just go downstairs. Oh, she's afraid she'll drown. Um, where does she live, for crying out loud? What's your address? Say that slowly, please. 
Ah, uh, 28 Standish Place. All right, tell her I'm on my way. You realize this is overtime, after hours, and it's golden time because this is Saturday night. Uh, ma'am, he is on his way. I'll see you later, huh, Martha? Take your time. Hey, you saw Rabbi. Why do you have to become the neighborhood character with these stories of yours? Look, I'll be back as soon as I can. Hey, Martha, how do you know it's on the level? How can you be sure it's not a put-up job? What are you talking about? Well, maybe that phone call's a trick so I can get out of here to, uh, to see some day. Huh? Who in her right mind would want you? Now get out of here, will you? <laughs> Why are you so anxious to get rid of me? Maybe you got a guy. After 15 years of being married to you, who in his right mind would haunt me? Who, who is it? The plumber. The plumber? That's what I said, lady, the plumber. How do I know you're the plumber? Lady, you're paying for my time. You want to pay me to stand out here on the doorstep? Just a minute. Harvey J. Stilson at your service. Do you want to come in? You. Just, uh, show me where to go, huh? Uh, uh, this, this way. You know, years ago, if your name was Carpenter, it was because carpentry was your trade. And people uh, who ground wheat with the flour, they were called Miller. But uh, down these steps. Yeah, those uh, those things don't mean anything anymore. Even my name, Stilson. You know the Stilson wrench the plumbers use? Well, that's just a coincidence. Oh, hey, hey. That's a good thing I'm wearing my boots. Look at that water. Do, do something, please. Please, do something. Yeah. Where is the... Uh, where's the shut-off valve? Oh, what if, oh I, I see, I see it. Uh, uh, please do something. Ah, lady, you know what they say. The more haste, the less speed. Now, the next time you get this kind of emergency... Oh, there isn't going to be a next time. Yeah, that's what you say. How little we know. Oh, please hurry. I'm trying to turn the shut-off valve. <clears throat> Boy, this thing hasn't been moved since the year one. <clears throat> okay. So, that should stop the flow from the main into the house. Now, where's the leak? Will it stop flooding? Well, as soon as what's in there now empties out, nothing more is coming in. Then you better go. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Don't you want me to fix the leak? I, I don't care. Well, you better care. You won't be able to use any water in this house. Kitchen, bathroom, nothing's going to work. You better go. Is that all you want me to do? Just shut off the supply? Lady, do you know what this is going to cost you? It doesn't matter. Well, you're going to pay for it anyhow, so at least get your hours worth out of it. I don't care. Wait a minute, wait. Is this something the matter? No, nothing. It's just that I... Uh-oh, there, there it is. Yes, sir, we, I can see where the water's coming from. It's behind the wall here. You've got this wood paneling. Oh. Boy, this is old stuff. You, you must have had a leak here for a long time. The water's been eating it away. How much do I owe you? Now, wait, 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 wait a minute. Yeah, this section of wood comes right off. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Well, a blind man could see it now. That pipe is gone. Yes, sir, there's a hole worn right through. All right, all I got to do is replace it. There's no big involvement. But, uh, It'll all be done within the hour, lady. It will cost you a nickel extra, just two and a half bucks, maybe... For material. I don't think you really have... You know how old this house must be? I'll bet you any amount George Washington must have slept here. This is a lead pipe. Lead. Maybe we could call you another time. Well, I'm here now. Lead. <laughs> you know how long it's been since plumbers used lead pipes? That's how we got the name. From the Latin word plumbarius. That means the man who works with lead. Really, let's just end it here. I'll give you your money. No, we've gone way beyond lead. Even copper, brass. Too. They're, they're old hat. Plastic. Plastic piping. That's the wave of the future. Please, I don't want you to do any more work. Oh, it'll take no time at all, lady. Let me just get my little wrench here. And... Oh, 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 oh. Hey, what is this? That's a big plastic bag, huh? What's this uh, white powdery stuff inside? Stand What? Don't move. Do not 
turn around. Just hand her that bag. <sighs> good, good, good. Who is he, Clara? Well, who do I look like? I'm the plumber, for crying out loud. As I have said, stand very steady. Motionless. While I see if you are armed. Armed? With what? What is he doing here, Clara? Hey, look, can, 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 uh, can I turn around? He, uh... It came to fix the leak. What leak? Well, can't you see the basement is knee deep in water? Oh, shut up. What is he doing here, Clara? The, uh, the, the pipes had burst. Yes? I thought I'd better call a plumber. But I told you, you were to permit no one to enter this house. But, but the basement was filling with water. You still had your hands struck him. But I thought that... Shut up. You were told... To allow no one into the premises. I could have been drowned. Hey, look, uh... Listen, why don't you two settle this between yourselves? And you were told to stand still. Right, right. And now, look, you want me to replace the pipe? And I can be on my way? And shut up. Yeah, okay. It's just I get paid by the hour. We're in golden time as it is. I said, be quiet. We shall all go upstairs while we decide exactly what to do with you. What is in his toolkit? Just wrenches and things? No, according to your identification here, you are a Harvey J. Stilson. A plumber, huh? Who else would I be? Where did you get his name, Clara? The telephone book. I just opened the page to plumbers and... His place was the nearest. Now, look, 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 folks. There's one thing I want you to know about I me. told you to be quiet. Yeah, I know, but this is important. I, I know, I know how to keep my mouth shut. Start now. All right, I, uh... I can see I walked in for something here that, uh... Well, okay, some, uh... Some kind of activity, maybe. Right? And, and you don't want it known. Now, look, I'm a master plumber. I'm also a master at minding my own business. I can walk out of here. There won't be a fee pattern. I am telling you to keep your mouth shut. I won't even charge you for the call. How about that? you know how much money you're ahead? For the last time, not another word. <laughs> okay, okay. What do, we, what do we do now? This is not humorous, my friend. Don't get him angry, please. And you'll be quiet too, Clara. No, you didn't answer my question. What do we do now? How do you top this? Where, where, where can you go for an ending? You know, if I have to tell you another oh, time... Oh, I, I just got wise to it. I just got wise. It's a gag. Clara and Armand. <laughs> Smooth and slick. You stash the plastic bag of sugar downstairs so I take it some kind of dope, right? Armand, Armand. That's just the right kind of foreign touch. And Clara, the good-looking gangster's girlfriend. And that's what you think this is, huh? Oh, that's what I know it is. Sure, my old buddy, Jack Lloyd, and a couple of the other guys. It's a practical joke. I wouldn't put anything past that bunch. Ah, you wouldn't? Yeah, they got together. They rented this old house, busted a pipe, hired the two of you. She calls me. You walk in and act real smooth, real tough. So what are you going to do? Try to scare me. Get me real nervous, real frightened. Maybe beg you not to kill me, huh? I'm going to fall down on my knees, this baby. This isn't a joke. It isn't, huh? Come on, how much you want to bet that Jack Lloyd and Jerry Davis and the rest of them aren't watching this from somewhere in this house? Hey, Jack! Jerry! That is enough out of I'll, you. I'll even bet you that they're getting it all down on videotape. Hey, fellas, all right, the show is over. Must have cost you a bundle of dough and it was all for nothing. I'm going home. Don't move. Ah, oh, come on, that gun doesn't scare me. Please. Come on, that's empty or it's just got blank cartridges inside it. Do not take another step. But don't you know when the joke is over, pal? You a professional actor or something? You're not there. You asked for it. Hey, hey, are you crazy? I heard, I heard that one go right past my ear. And if I have to fire another one, I promise you, you will not hear it at all. can all safely assume that whatever it is, it's not a joke. Clara and Armand, particularly Armand, appear to be very serious people. 
Now then, here we have a man who leads a rather humdrum, prosaic existence. He yearns for high adventure. He may get enough to last him a lifetime, although it could turn out to be a rather short lifetime. I shall be back shortly with Act Two. What does the average man know about adventure? Our lives are carefully planned and strictly scheduled. We perform our daily task to earn our allotted portion of daily bread. When is there time or opportunity to face and conquer danger? And this is how most of us really want it. Of course, there's always the unforeseen, the random chance. And this is also a part of life. Not to mention death. Hey! Hey, you could have killed me! Yes. Well, what's the big idea? Sit down in the chair and shut up. I'm on? Uh, what is it? What are we going to do with him? That does not concern you, Sherry. What do you mean it doesn't concern me? You promised me there wouldn't be any killing. It was a promise I made in good faith. If I had known it could go this way, I'd never... One cannot mortgage the actions of the future to the promises made in the past. Oh, that's all fancy talk. The net result is you're going to kill him. Hey, hey. We shall have to postpone the final decision until Frankie arrives. Since when is Frankie the one who decides? Frankie is entitled to express an opinion. Just answer this one question. Are we going to kill him? You, be quiet. Clara, look through the peephole. Oh, it's Frankie. Well, let her in. Ah, good evening, Frankie. And who's this? Uh, this one is a plumber by the name of Stilson. And what's he doing here? She called him. Why? What do you think? The cellar was flooding. And so you called him? Where did you get his name? In a phone book. Where else would I find a plumber? You could have called me. Why? Could you have fixed the leak? I could have sent someone reliable. Hey, listen, I'm reliable. You be quiet. You've got more trouble than you can handle now. Uh, he uh, took away the wood paneling uh, to get at the pipe. And that's where the stash was. Mm. Sure. Well, the question is, uh, what to do now? Huh? Well, what do you suggest? Why are you asking her? What would be the point of asking you? Uh, uh, look, uh, let us not let this degenerate into pointless bickering. Huh? I know what you two want to do. You want to kill him. That's not true. We don't want to kill him. But you're going to. I can tell. All right, Clara, dear. Tell me why we shouldn't. Because killing isn't our style. Our style? Mine and Armand's. Oh, Armand, honey. You and I, we're strictly confidence operators. We set up a mark. We work a hustle or a scam. We get away clean. We don't need rough stuff. Oh, Tommy, just let's not start now. Don't let her talk you into it. I think Armand is old enough to make up his own mind. Armand, she said to us she knew how we could make a lot of money. And it's true. You'll make more with this one stash than with ten years' worth of swindles. But we never had to kill anybody. Sooner or later, that day has to come for everybody. No. Armand, don't listen. Let him go? What happened? He'll run to the cops. Oh, no, 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 not me. I'll give you my word of honor. Are we supposed to bet our lives on his word of honor? It has to be done. Now, wait a minute. The three of us are supposed to be partners, aren't we? I say we take a vote. You can't beat democracy. I vote we get rid of him. I vote we let him go. That leaves it up to you, Armand. Armand and I have always been a team. Yeah, well, I, uh, I think that team is breaking up, Clara. You... You'd better be quiet. Or else you'll what? Shoot me? Huh? I got that to look forward to anyway. You got a gun anywhere on you, Clara? Maybe you better shoot both of them. You and Armand are finished. That isn't true. Oh, no, he goes for her now. Frankie. Anyone can see that. That's a lie. Listen, I saw him smack you pretty hard before. Did he ever lay a hand on you before she came along? We better get rid of him quick. Yeah, that's right. Before Clara really gets wise. First me, Clara, 
Then you. He goes for her. And then you become odd one out. Clara, don't open your purse. Well, if that's where you got your gun, Clara, open it fast. You think the two of them will want his jealous ex-girlfriend running around? You'll be in trouble. Now, Clara, be careful with that. Don't you see what he's trying to do? It's an old trick. He's trying to drive a wedge between us. Now, just let's slow down. Everything's just going too fast for me. Armand, I'm telling you this much right now. I don't like the way you look at her sometimes. Oh, Clara, Cherie, there could never be another woman in my life. We've got two million dollars worth of this stuff. Let's not get bogged down into something stupid. I love you, Clara. Only you. Let's get out of here, Armand, right now. Let her have the powder. What are you saying? We don't need it. It's too much trouble. We don't need her either. Darling, it's two million dollars. But we'll have to kill somebody for it. Isn't it worth it? No. Armand, why do you keep talking about it? You've got the gun. Take care of him. The second he shoots that man, I'm going to shoot you, Frankie. Clara, darling, put the pistol away. I'll shoot her. I mean it. You, plumber, walk out the door. Oh, yes, ma'am. Happy to oblige. Take one step and I'll kill you. What do you say, Frankie? Why Why do you and I quarrel, huh? We never used to quarrel till she showed up. Darling, we're just business partners. There's nothing between Frankie and me. Don't you believe him. Can't you see what's happening? You and I are starting to fight. You're the one that got us into this thing. You're the one that called him here. It's all your fault. Tell her not to say another word. I'll say whatever has to be said, my angel. I thought you loved me. I do. How can you love me if you don't trust me? I feel terrible about this. But everything is going to be all right. You see, you just let me take care of it, huh? Just tell me that you love me. Of course I love you, my darling. How could you ever doubt me? But this this man, do we still have to... Uh, Yes. (sighs) When? Uh, Just before we leave. When are we going to leave? As soon as they get here with the money for the powder. And... When will that be? At any moment, my darling. So, meanwhile, why don't we all sit down and relax, huh? I'm... I'm sorry, Mr. Stilson. I... I'm really very sorry. But I told you to leave, didn't I? What time is it? 10.30. Ah, uh, I got 10.29. Would you believe I've been here almost four hours? What a bill you'll be running up. I do not like this waiting, Frankie. They'll be here, don't worry. Yes, well, with the money, I hope. Armand, I know these people. Oh, yeah, yeah, she knows these people, Armand, but you don't. How do you know they'll walk in here with money, huh? Maybe they'll walk in here with guns and just take the powder, huh? Have a good time. But it won't work. Uh, what do you think, Armand? Is this the kind of double cross you would pull if they were friends of yours? Armand, I'm scared. Ah, oh, there's nothing to be scared of, Clara. This is a, a kind of new business for us. We know nothing about it. What's to know? You hand over the stuff and you take the money. That's all. Yeah, but how can you be sure? Okay. Let's put a stop to it. This plumber here is going to ruin the whole business. He keeps talking and he gets on everybody's nerves. He's going to have us killing each other. What I say is, we're going to have to get rid of him sooner or later. So let's make it sooner. Let's take him down to the cellar. Get it over with. Yes, I'm afraid you're right, Frankie. Why is she always right? There is no alternative. On your feet, Mr. Stilson. Now, just a minute. I am afraid there is nothing more you can say. Now, well, why don't you wait? For what? Well, to, to, uh, to see how it goes. Suppose, uh, suppose those people never show up. Why shouldn't they show up? Well, maybe, uh, maybe they don't exist. Yeah, maybe you're in this alone, Frankie. Sure, you're looking for a chance to get the drop on the two of them and walk away with the powder yourself. That's a lie. Is it? Armand? How well do you know her? How well do you know her, Armand? Don't you see why we have to kill him? If she's going to double-cross you, you'll have killed me for nothing. You shut up. That's how 
a man can't even think. Well, what's there to think about? Frankie, Frankie, there really is no hurry. We can wait. No, we can't. Well, why not? Because it means you don't trust me. And why should they trust you? I'll shoot you myself. I bet you don't, Frankie. I bet you work it so one of them has to do it. You don't look like a girl who takes chances. Ah, uh, they're here. I'll open it. What is it? I can see through the people. It's the police. The police? Mr. Stinson, do not open your mouth. Say one word and I shoot. How do we do this, Armand? You and I will take the plumber downstairs to the cellar. Yes, but we have to open the door. They can see the lights are on. Why are the police here? The police are here because they're looking for me. Why should they be looking for you? Because my wife is worried. She knows I'm at this address. We'll take him downstairs, Armand. You, Clara, open the front door. Tell him he's gone. No, you can't do that. His truck is still outside. Tell him he's still working in the basement. And one word out of you, mister, and you're gone. Keep the gun on him, Armand. Let's go. Downstairs. Clara, remember, if you try to save him, the police will capture us all. We'll spend the rest of our lives in jail. Clara, I love you. Move. One sound out of you and you're gone. Through there. Oh, well, good evening, ma'am. I'm sorry to bother you, but is the uh, plumber still here? No. Plumber? Yes, ma'am. He left home a long time ago, and his wife is worried about him. She knew he'd gone to this address. Is he still here? Well, now, how do you suppose Clara will answer that question? These things are never really simple for those who are under the gun. And this is one of those stories where people live from minute to minute. Therefore... Let us relax for just a bit. And re- Are you an unpublished author? Do you have... What is an adventure? Something that you see in the movies or read about in books. At any rate, it almost always happens to other people. How would we behave in a life-or-death situation where our fate would be determined by our wits. You never know till you're tested. And by that time, it may be too late. You see, the uh, plumber generally calls in after he's been away for an hour and uh, she hasn't heard from him. His wife, you know. Well, naturally, she's nervous. Uh, Yes. But, well, I guess he's still here, huh? His truck's outside. Uh, He is. So I guess he's still working, huh? Mm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> Must be some leak, huh? An old house like this. Yeah, when the plumbing goes, it can sure be one big headache. Right? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> of all times for a thing like that to happen. <laughs> Saturday night, huh? Yes. Well, all right, tell the plumber to check in with his wife, huh? Oh, yes. Yeah, and I'm sorry we bothered you, ma'am. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> They've gone. Yes, we heard. You did a splendid job, Clara. Oh, but the police know he's here. It changes nothing. Look, Clara, we've got two million bucks staring us in the face. And that is what you should be thinking of. Just as soon as my friends get here. If she's got me friends, and if they ever get here... You're still in their pitching, plumber. I don't blame you, but you're finished. L- l- let us leave him here and go upstairs. Listen. I understand you're on golden time. Why don't you fix the leak? Oh, it's a splendid idea. And the right of the bill, huh? We'll see that your wife gets the money. We wouldn't want to cheat a working man. What do you think we are? Bunch of crooks? Hello? Oh. Oh, it's you. Uh, I made some coffee for everybody. You made some coffee? Sure, that figures. What figures? Yeah, she wouldn't make the coffee. I thought you'd like to have a cup. It's it's damp down here. Yes, thanks. I love coffee. Now, you know, Martha says I drink too much. 
Martha? Martha. Martha, my wife. Oh, yeah. Well, she she's the lady I spoke to on the phone? Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Hmm? She's all right. She's all right. She, she puts up with a lot. Oh, that means she loves you. Women who love a man have to put up with plenty. <laughs> too much, if you ask me. Oh, well, men put up with an awful lot, too, if you know what I mean. D- does she give you a hard time? Oh, I don't know. Not really, nah. Maybe I asked for it, but then... I don't know, I don't know. Well, what don't you know? Well, maybe maybe she's disappointed in me. Why? Well, I'm just a plumber. Then what's wrong with that? Oh, I never went to college. Well, neither did Abraham Lincoln. Well, he must have. He was a lawyer. Well, I think he became a lawyer by reading books. Well, anyway, they're mostly college guys in the neighborhood. Professional men, businessmen. But I make as much dough as most of them. Can you believe that? Oh, sure. Yeah. That's how we could afford to buy the house there. Of course, we bought it years ago before things went crazy enough. I know. That's why I held still for this one big score. So Armand and I can buy a house somewhere and settle down. Mm. You know, Martha, she feels... Well, I guess it's self-conscious. That's what she feels. But we're the only family that's got a truck parked in a driveway. Oh, I can understand that. I mean, it's not exactly a truck. It's more like a van. I, I keep it looking great. Mm. But it's what it is. It's a plumber's truck. And drink your coffee before it gets cold. So, maybe... Maybe what? Well, maybe I tell the neighbors things I shouldn't, you know, making myself seem important. It's just that I'm trying to fit in. You want to drink that coffee? Oh, yeah, thanks. Ah. <laughs> What's the matter? Ah, this is how you're going to do it, huh? Do what? Yeah, with the coffee, with the coffee. Instead of a bullet, this is quieter, it's easier. And, and you don't have to worry, maybe I'll fight back and somebody else can get hurt. Now, come on, tell me, what, what did you put in here? Huh? Cream and sugar? Oh, I should have asked. Maybe you like it black, huh? No, I like lots of cream and sugar. Uh, maybe I didn't put in enough. Go ahead. Go on, taste it. I swear I didn't put anything in the coffee. I wouldn't do a thing like that. I really don't want to kill you. You're going to let the other two do it. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. For you. Nobody has to be sorry for me. Okay, okay, so they kill me. The cops are going to know what happened here. They will, won't they? Yeah, but we'll be long gone. You'll be gone, but your description stays. What description? Your dear friend, what's her name? Uh, Frankie. Frankie and Johnny were sweethearts. I should say Frankie and Armand were sweethearts. I know Armand. Yeah, famous last word. I know who he goes for. She's not his type. Yeah, you sure? Yes. He always comes back to Clara. Ah, uh-huh, but suppose there's no Clara to come back to. Huh? Well, I'll always be waiting for him. Well, now, what good is that if you're waiting in jail? Because that's where you're going to go. You may even get the death penalty, thanks to Frankie. What's Frankie got to do with it? Well, if you can't see it, why should I tell you? Oh, you're bluffing again. Trying to get me scared and nervous. Am I? Armand loves me. Do you understand? He loves me. Armand's got nothing more to do with this thing. I don't care how you think it looks. Armand's the boss. Oh, I know, Armand. He has to deal the cards or there's no game. Okay. Okay, I'm dead. Follow this now. Who killed me? You did. And the cops know it. How do the cops know it? Well, that's how she staged it. Here, let me refresh your memory. The bell rings. She goes to the people. It's the cops. Clara, you open the door, huh? Now, Frankie and Armand hustle me downstairs. Clara opens the door and talks to the cops. Clara is the only one the cops can identify. Frankie, Armand, get out of it. But that's... It's a fact. Frankie set you up. So, the cops have your description. That's a pretty good one, too. I was listening. Those two cops had a long talk with you, didn't they? I... And so they'll remember you very well. Well, tell me something. You have a record? You ever been arrested? They'll never trace me. So, now they got your description. Blonde? I was brunette at the time. Oh, come on. You can change your hair. But they're looking for a pretty girl of, uh, 29? I'm only 26. All right. Your height, your weight, all this stuff gets fed into a computer. They press the right buttons and zap, 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 out comes the name Clara Smith or Jones or whatever you're using. But they know who you are. Oh, you're bluffing. Oh, you'd like it to be a bluff, wouldn't you? Tell me something, what's the split? 
The split? Yeah, the two million. How does it split? Three ways? Or a million for her and a million for you and Armand, seeing that you're a team? Well, we hadn't decided on that exactly. Ah, that's that's your first mistake. Armand has never double-crossed me. Oh, well, Armand never played for such high stakes either. Now, tell me, are you worth uh, half a million to him? Huh? Are you? How about her? Why shouldn't she want to keep the dough for herself? All of it. Because... Because what? Because she's so generous. She's so fair and square. Listen, kid, make a deal. Make a deal for yourself. A deal? Yeah, the best deal you can get. With me. Now, listen. You know who I am. You're the plumber. No, no, no. That's my cover. Cover? Yeah, you know. You know what a cover is. You have to go to the movies. Now, listen, I've been following Frankie all, all on my own, you see. And I was taking out this house, waiting to go in and make the pinch when everybody showed up. Now, I see this plumber pull up in his truck. Ah, what a great way to get in. I tell him who I am, and I have him wait in the truck. And I take his tools, and I come inside. Yeah. You're a cop? Sure, sure, I'm a cop. What do you think? But you knew how to fix the pipe. Oh, well, listen, that's easy. Un- undercover, undercover cops, they get training. They get training in all the trades. You know, plumbing, carpentry, electricity, TV repairs even. So they have an excuse to enter suspicious premises. You see what I mean? Oh, yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, now, look, I have to get out of here and establish contact with my superiors. Oh, but... Now, here's the deal. You will not be prosecuted. Oh, but Armand... Okay, okay, Armand gets off, too. We only want Frankie. Oh, you can have her. <laughs> Don't drink the coffee. Yes, sure. Uh, that's poisoned, huh? No, no. Uh, just some stuff to knock you out so so that you could be handled easier. All right. Not the deal. You and Armand walk away. I only want Frankie. Oh, you better. And the powder. But it's worth... It's worth... Your life, your freedom. Huh? Is that a deal? Remember, this way, you're really rid of Frankie. Now, that should be worth something. It's worth a fortune to me. Ah, You'll see, it's for the best. Now, you and Armand go back to those little con games of yours where no one really gets hurt. Now, that's what you want, isn't it? I guess so. All right, all right. Now, let's figure out a way to get off of here. I already know it. Where now your friend's going to be here, Frankie, huh? I told you. Don't worry. But they're three hours late now. They're flying in from Europe. You have to expect delays. Ah, it's two in the morning. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Why don't we all take a nap? No, no, no. I think we all better stay awake. Why don't we all have some strong coffee? Why don't you make some? <laughs> Asleep? Are you sure? I know when Armand is dead to the world. And the other one, oh, you should hear her snore. Uh, snoring. That's the most unsexy thing a woman can do. You promised me Armand and I would get away. Would I break my promise? Well, you'll have to help me get Armand into the car. I keep my word, I keep my word. Let's go. Mr. Stilson, you can go home now. Uh, did you get the Frankie woman? Oh, she was there, just as you said. Now, about the other two. Uh, look, uh, look, Captain, uh, they just blundered into it, you see, almost like I did. They'll never fool with that stuff again. Still, it's your duty to tell us. Captain, yes. Captain, I have to make a deal. Now, you got Frankie. She's the one you want. And you got the powder. Two million dollars worth. There's, um... Quite a reward. It belongs to you. Reward? But you have to accept it quietly. Quietly? You mean it won't appear in the papers, on the radio, or the TV? Oh, no. What's oh, no? This whole business has to be kept secret. Why? For your own protection. You mean I won't be able to tell anybody? Not a soul. Not even my wife? Not even your wife. Why? Suppose one day you have a serious fight or she decides to divorce you. Oh, but You Captain... did your duty as a citizen. You're getting thousands of dollars as a reward. 
Shouldn't that be enough? No. No. It isn't enough. Not really. I'm... I'm sorry, Mr. Stilson, but that's the way it has to be. Is that you, Harvey? Don't tell me you were expecting somebody else. Oh. It's five o'clock in the morning. Did you just get through? Yep. You left the house at 6.30. That's almost ten and a half. Oh, 12 hours on golden time. You realize how much money that is? Of course. It must have been a tough job. Yeah, it sure was. You want to tell me about it? What happened? Uh, what happened was, uh, you see, I found a big plastic bag of cocaine behind the pipes. Ah, Harvey. Yeah, they, they were a gang of pushers. They wanted to kill me, but I outsmarted them and turned them into the police. Oh, all right, Harvey. Now, you just cut that out. Now, don't you dare tell stories like that, especially to Junior. And from now on, no more of this nonsense. You know why you do it. You want to prove something to the neighbors. But believe me, you're as good a man as any one of them. You know something, Martha? Tonight, for the very first time, I think so. I really think so. And why not? You must admit he carried it off brilliantly. He was forced to live from minute to minute, improvising every difficult and dangerous step of the way. How many of us could have brought it off? Think about it, and I shall return shortly. You've had a bad and You lost everything. You gave up everything. You became a drifter. Look, Frank. Something the... inside you said, no, this can't go on. Joe Driscoll is not going to be a bum for the rest of his days. Joe Driscoll is going to make a comeback. I, I, I'm so glad you feel it, and, and you're going to make good. I know it. So this woman, you, you don't need her anymore. How can you say that? Well, you needed her in the beginning. You needed her, the, the idea of her to, to wake you up. But you're all right now. You can make it on your own. Frank, are you trying to tell me this girl... Is only in my imagination. This is E.G. Marshall, inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams.